shade the solution set in the xy plane. So here is our inequality. And so the best way to do these is to solve for y. So you subtract 2x from both sides. That cancels it off of here and puts it over there and subtract 2x. So now you're here. Now you're at the stage where you want to divide both sides by negative 3. So what we do is we write the statement again. But we leave a blank for the inequality. Because since we're dividing by negative 3 on both sides, we have to switch the inequality from less than to the opposite, which is greater than. Okay, then we have y is greater than 2 thirds x minus 2. Then you graph that over here. So you have your y-intercept and you have your slope. So the y-intercept is 0, negative 2. But we're going to graph it with an open circle because the solution set is all the points where the y's uh, coordinates are greater than the ones that are on the line y equals. So we don't get the line. See, it doesn't say equals here. It says greater. And so we don't get any points on the line, including the points we're going to use to graph the line with. So we have open circles. Then we use the slope to go over 3 in the run and rise 2 from the slope that we have there. And then, as I said before, you don't get the line in the solution because it's greater than, so that's why it's dashed. Okay, use a dashed line. Now all you have to do now is decide where what to shade. So the border line is y equals two thirds x minus two. That's the border line which we don't get. We want all the points that has y is greater than that. So here's all the y values. So we want all the y's greater, so we shade it in this part. All these points have y values that are greater than the ones on the line. So it's all that part up there. That's why this method is good, solving for y, because then you could just see we want y values greater. So like this point here, 0, 0,8, it is above the point 0, negative 2. Its y value is greater than the one that's on the line. Now we're going to continue on. Uh, with another example, 2x plus 3y is greater than or equal to 6. So we use the same technique. We subtract 2x from both sides. So it knocks off of the left and appears over here on the right as negative 2x. And we have the plus 6. Now we're here. Then we're going to divide through by 3. I don't need to rewrite and switch to inequality because it's dividing by a positive number. Positive 3. So I, I'm here. And then I just simplify it down. 6 divided by 3 is 2, and I'm here. So now I want to draw this line. The y-intercept is 2, so that's 0, 2. The slope, and I, and I did it with a solid dot this time, solid, because we have the equal sign there. So we do get the points on the line this time into the uh, solution set. So 0, 2 is here. Then I use the run of 3. Delta x is 3. 1, 2, 3. And a delta y of negative 2. Which gets you the second point here. Then I draw the line through. It's solid this time. Solid because we get the points on the line because of the equals. So then we just have to figure out which side is shade. So we want the y values to be greater than 
the ones on the line. So we want these. Okay, and this says a test. Let's say you pick this one here. Zero, six. This is the y value of six. Definitely greater than the one on the line, which is here. Six is greater than two. So it checks out. All these points over here have y values that are greater than the ones on the line.